Coming soon to a theater near you. They listened as scholars enlightened their minds. See, once you all become lawyers, then you'll have the opportunity to choose the clients you take on from the ones you don't. Now you can take the stance of moral non-responsibility, or you can take it personally and refuse a client simply because your moral convictions tell you so. You'll be faced with two trying issues when selecting your clients. Firstly, you have an obligation to take unpopular cases. And secondly, is it ever professionally responsible to refuse a case? They took their oaths from the Canadian Bar Association. I have the duty to respect the dignity and worth of all persons and to treat persons equally without discrimination. I will not withdraw my services except for good cause and upon notice appropriate in the circumstances. I will not stipulate for, charge, or accept any fee that is not fully disclosed, fair, and reasonable. I will not deny services or provide inferior services on these grounds. Having once accepted professional employment, I should complete the task as ably as possible unless there is a justifiable cause for terminating the relationship. I will try to avoid controversy with the client over fees and should be ready to explain the basis for charging especially if the client is unsophisticated or uninformed about the proper basis and measurement for fees. But how faithful will they be to their moral obligations in the real world? I don't understand. These are the fees that we agreed to beforehand. What I quoted you here was our pre-economic meltdown package. Since then, things obviously changed, so I quoted you our post-economic price structure. That's absolutely absurd! Oh no, so we can, we can work this out. You know what, we can't work anything out. <laughs> what? What's wrong? I can't represent you anymore. What? what why? 666, room 666. That, that's a really bad omen. I, I'm sorry, I just can't. Here, here are the notes to your case. Best of luck, you're gonna be fine. But I need you. Gotta go. I'm sorry, you said you didn't wear? That would be no game. Oh, I'm sorry, but our firm doesn't represent people from that community. What community? Your community. What the hell do you mean, my community? I'm gonna be honest with you, we don't think people from community that can pay legal fees. That is preposterous, sir. You know what? You know what? Screw you, man. Screw you, okay? Montreal Gazette says it makes used car salesmen look like saints. The Charlottetown Guardian calls it the legal profession's answer to sicko. Woven Mail says I've never heard of it. They're bright. They're beautiful. One's black. And together they are the devil's advocates. A never before seen look at legal ethical dilemmas. The Devil's Advocates, coming soon.